Good Saturday, I guess technically Saturday morning or Friday evening, depending on how you want to look at it. I don't know. That's pedantic as hell. Oop, I've moved something on OBS. I think everything's fine, right? Right? Game, the game window's good. Yeah, yeah, don't touch that. All right, cool. Yeah, good evening. It's like 2 a.m. my time. We did do a double feature yesterday, but I'm feeling the need to ascend. So we're going to do a run here. Excuse the different demeanor. Again, it's fairly late. It's not like, you know, the isolated box of a closet I live in here would wake up any of my other family members here. But, you know, we'll, we'll be a little respectful here. We have a nice, calm ascension run tonight. Uh, a little bit more of a soothing tone. We'll try and engage a little bit here. Maybe get some good banter, some good witty pieces out on the tray. Dude, only like three paths, though. Do what's kind of a uh, path we can get going here. I kind of like that one. Two fireplaces, one a lead, and then wrapping it up with a hexabud here. We'll figure it out. Yeah, it's late. Uh, just got back from celebrating one of my uh, longtime friends' birthday parties here. Had a little bit to drink, just very light stuff. Tomorrow I'm going to be like doing the same thing, just to an extreme degree at the Cornish Pasty in Las Vegas here. But, you know, another story for another time here. Uh, of these starting relics, what do I want? Or starting options, I should say? Hmm. Give me, give me a different relic. Let's see what we can get. Mark of Pain, believe it or not. Actually, this is terrible. <laughs> That's uh, three three cards in the deck of a uh, ten that we cannot play. But the extra energy is actually going to be out fucking rageous to an extreme degree. I'm going to take this path early here. The shop, you know, if it's not good, we can always double into another shop as well. We're gonna triple into another shop. You never know. Each question mark has its own path. It's okay. This is like the longest age I've ever had here. Let's get rolling. All right, so with extra energy, it means extra blocks, and it means extra damage if we can draw enough attacks on a turn to play it out. This right here, not looking good, but with the Mark of Pain, which by the way, I haven't seen in like actually a decade, it feels like, we have a lot of um, damage options. As long as I draw two swings here, we're pretty okay, so let's mitigate the damage here. Um. With the Mark of Pain, thank you very much. Uh, as long as we uh, are able to sort of synergize something that goes off of uh, wounds in this case, that'll be great. So an Evolve in this deck would be pretty damn good. Uh, take care of a lot of issues that way. I'm tempted to try a Havoc, actually. You play Havoc, you can thin out the deck, get something good going. Let's try a thin, aggressive, very wacky type of deck early. You never know what you'll find. What the hell is that? I need to look at the patch notes. Let's try and make that an effort after we uh, crash and burn here. Enemies in elite rooms have 25% less HP. Oh, fuck, dude. We gotta... We gotta go after elites here. Um... Shit. Well, that sort of changes plans up, like, a great deal. Because if we go after elites, we're missing out on this shop and fireplace early. I still think it will be worthwhile to hit a fireplace. There are cards you would like to upgrade. But we'll make it a goal to take on at least one elite on the uh, opening floor here. See what we can get away with. Also, I'm getting away with a triple block on the Jawworms 12 damage opener. Has got me thinking, and it's got me SMI Ellen smiling. Smi smiling. That was not even a good attempt. Forgive me. It's It's late my attempt at any sort of humor if i ever had any to begin with that's sort of up to you to begin just the attempt at that okay so uppercut i do like combust if we had the relic then uh you know we got sustained back from that'd be great uh, i'm gonna go uppercut and that is gonna be the target of an upgrade in all likelihood okay that changes things greatly 44 hp is not a lot to work with going into a boss fight um, so I still might pivot here, just depending on what we get. I'm gonna be up in front with you. Flex. I feel like I've unrated this card to an insane degree for far too long. Unupgraded, you know what? It's like I sleep. Upgraded? Real shit, dude. Real fucking shit. So we're gonna give this a whirl here. Um... We're also going to remove a basic as a hell strike. Get out the deck. Uh, I'm going to pass on the early elite. Gonna upgrade the flex. See? See that juice that's coming out of that muscle there? It's gonna be me in a second when I actually hit the gym in real life. Perfecto strike for 24 is actually outstanding, but, uh, you know, I just now a strike. Not happening. Second flex. I, I don't know the threshold on how many flexes is too many flexes, but I think that might uh, push the agenda there. Um... 
Havoc being free is pretty good. Although we're going to upgrade that, because that's our means to thin out the deck. Ideally, the other strikes. Ideally, just other cards in general. We have to sort of get to a point where that's okay. Oh my, I can get two fireplaces for free in the shop here. It's going to be the same on this path anyway, so let's go ahead and go here. I'm going to rest. A little bit of precaution might go a long way. Take on a basic guy, take on the elite. I have full confidence in my abilities to crush an enemy that wants to come before me. Go for that. My friend's birthday today, uh, celebrated with a Jason Deli food. Uh, hung out with another friend that I haven't seen forever, and my god, her hair was so long, I'm like, wow. I haven't seen you in like half a year. I didn't expect your hair to be so long. That's good and dandy. Uh, watched a movie. I haven't seen a, a lot of Pixar films as of late, but the one we uh, did watch, Cleave? I'll take Cleave in case this is a Silent Hill. You never know. One Cleave is probably okay. Any more than that, the card is abysmal. Did not work out in my favor. Um, we watched a movie by the name of, perhaps you've heard of it, it's called uh, Coco. Um, no lie, Coco. 9.5 out of 10, not even giving you a meme answer there, even though it is exactly that, a meme answer. I thought that was a legitimately very good watch. A very, very good watch. I'm going to Bernie Pack here, because the chances are I'm going to draw something I want, and I can also thin out one of these wounds for later. I got exactly what I was hoping for, something to further give that vulnerability and weaken him down a little bit more. That's a lot of damage coming out. Anyway, Coco. Like, genuinely, like, a pleasant pleasant surprise to watch um would absolutely you know if i ever had to sit down on an in-flight movie or something it's like hey you know would you watch coco two or three times yeah, okay well to be honest in general that is a something's wrong in the force here i sense a disturbance did i not get these exact same three cards on the last option is this not exactly what happened i'm gonna pick up another cleave because I truly am thinking ahead towards the birds. Two cleaves will make me happy. Hey, two cleaves right here would make me, you know, ecstatic, but can't get everything we want, you know? Uh, and Slimer is going to sort of get away with a lot here. You know, you want to get away with 71 gold? You know, go wild. You can buy a nice can of soda with that. Anyway, back to my point. Coco is... It's just a good movie. Fun for the entire family. I mean, it is, it's, it's sort of his children movie's Pixar, but like... I don't know, I just, I watched it, I'm like, I really, genuinely, uh, like this Pixar movie. Mind you, like, I did see, like, you know, The Incredibles recently. That's not a knock towards The Incredibles. Also, if it's a knock towards any movie and, like, anyone wants to jump down my throat about it, it's like, come on, guys, these are movies for children. Uh, and as an adult, I highly, you know, respect the ability to watch them as an adult. Different point altogether. It's just good, dude. Just watch the movies. They're fine. Good time. So I do like Rage for a number of reasons. Uh, the 5 lock, especially because it's upgraded, is really good. And if we can synergize that again with sort of a uh, Juggernaut build that we could have got running on the last uh, attempt there. You remember that one, right? Yeah, yeah, you do. Um, maybe we got something going on here. And I can reduce you down to a great degree. Let's just minimize the damage as a whole. Uh, if you want to get me low enough so like the... Ooh, yes please. The damage or the HP threshold I'm at is going to be uh, even lower for the opening attack. That'd be great against Hexabud as well. I'm not going to say no to that. I'm going to punch in the Gabba there, so I'm in Mum, toss you aside, wrap him, wrap him up, throw him away. Chemokinesis. Very good hitter. Doesn't really benefit from uh, Flex too much. The Flex is just sort of there to supplement everything uh, in general. Do you take Chemokinesis? I think you do, and like I said, we're, we're doing a very openly over aggressive type of play here i'm going to upgrade you to hit for 18 and the plan is this the opening attack for this sunny jimbo slice should not be so bad to the point like you know i don't want to exist and play this game anymore it should be totally bearable 18 is totally bearable and i'll make something even better for it how about 12 that's actually still like really bad but the damage output right now is uh stupendous I've never seen such a weak opener by this guy in my life. Oh, yeah, you know. Just another day in the office with the uh, great Tim here, a.k.a. Zapperson, where you draw your reflex with only one damage attack and more blocks than you can ever ask for on a turn. He's only hitting you for four. It's uh, overall pretty fucking good. I'm, like, really happy that it has happened in this way. Let's see if we can't get lucky and, uh, you know, grab a burn. Grab a block instead. You'll forgive me if you, uh... Think that the uh, amount of 
unlucky I've gotten with some of these draws has a, not, you know, it's just it's just more than I could ever ask for. But again, in this case, looks like uh, Lux coming around here. We're going to get a very good active turn as well. Like, this is a lot of damage. My HP is not looking good, dude, but hey, you got to spend blood to make blood, right? Maybe there's like an analogy there for like labor or anything like that. Or maybe that's why we have labor day for all we know. I don't know. Like I'm trying to make some sort of spin here on like blood drives or any sort of analogy there. But like if you spin in any way, it might seem to come off as like, hey, the way for the uh, big business to sort of take advantage of us here. And I am fucking dead. Like I said, you're gonna try hard here. This is this is not the ordinary Fumir Ascension here. Uh, this is more of the same. Patch notes. Um. Lots of new relics here. Brimstone, Fossilize, Helix, praise it. Uh, preserved Insect Relic, Prismatic Shard, Warp Tongs, Wing Boots. So we saw the uh, Preserved Insect here. They've added R for these relics. I... Do I need to go somewhere else to look at these relics? Yeah. I think I need to... Oh, there's, there's new relics, so we'll find them as we go here. Uh, ideally, Ascension Mode. Hang on, hang on. Just show us a little bit more things here. Bug fixes. Wing Greaves to Wing Boots. Wording. Okay. Um, it's Ascension Mode. Bear with me here as we struggle on the first floor. And if, if it gets to a point where almost too many of the Ascension Mode runs are just actually crash and burns on the first floor, we're going to do a heavy pivot towards, like, a regular runs, maybe? And just some dailies to sort of boost it up here. Dude, I'm hungry to ascend. I got, like, a chip on my shoulder. I got something to prove here. Uh, 100 gold out the gate. Pretty good. Remove a card from your deck. Let's try that one. Let's try that one. So we're going to remove a card. It is going to be a basic as hell strike. We're going to grab some more high value strikes. No perfected strike deck here at all. And we'll move from there. So what do we got? What do we got? Uh, there's a fireplace on pretty much every avenue. And as long as we pivot right, we'll be able to get more fireplaces. I can take two elites on if I'm feeling that confident. I'm going to run through two shops. You never know what you might run into there. As well as that mystery machine in the middle might give me like a billion gold and then it'll solve all my problems. I'm oh, sorry, I should probably, you know, do my Dr. Evil voice here. It's uh, one million dollars. And I'll be like, yeah, that's great. Also, has like the value of a million dollars in today's like modern economy actually, you know, scaled enough to where like someone's like, I can win a million dollars. Like, yeah, I'll live off that the rest of my life. Or is it more like a, eh, it's just a million dollars, dude. I might be able to make a few down payments on my house here. If I can buy one from my parents here that have three. <laughs> oh, man. Again, it's just so easy to make those jokes. And also, if your parent has two houses, like, maybe you don't need that million dollars. I'll take that million dollars. It's probably not for you. Inflame? No. Not today. Do not want Inflame. But to be honest, I don't really want any of this other stuff either, though. I'm just like... And the music sums up my feelings in general. Um, I also don't want to thin out another goddamn strike, but I'm feeling that's what I'm going to do here. We only have uh, a few damage openers here, so I need something big to come out of this. Gold Idol? Sure, why not? Kind of wish I had a means to mitigate the, the debuff here, but that's fine. Uh, and with that, we're going to pivot hard right. And by hard right, I mean hard left, because uh, there's nothing else over there or on the river bend for me to really uh, gather upon, so... We're going to go ahead and hit you, and we're going to hit you. Just get rid of those debuffs out the gate. I'll gladly take the uh, penalty for the HP. So we can uh, wrap you boys up here just a little bit quicker, and that'll actually get squared out nice and easy here. So, net loss of 2 HP as a whole. Pretty good. Also, I can't help but feel as I'm doing like this like lower tone voice that I'm like some sort of smooth DJ radio host here coming to you live at 2 a.m. on an actually recorded line instead of a live radio host show. I did want to get into radio when I was younger. It was like one of the aspirations uh, going through high school. I'm like, I want to do radio. I want to be like the, the David Mahoney morning show. And for the longest time, I thought it was the David Mahoney morning show. I didn't know it was two separate people with different names. It sort of just all melded together. By the way, did I ever mention I was a non-intelligent person growing up? If I haven't, that should make it a little bit more clear. Also, my gameplay probably can show that as well. So it sucks that the only damage cards I seem to be getting tonight are fucking Cleave. I'm going to take Disarm, and in all likelihood, that's going to be an upgrade target. What do you do with the Drunken? Okay, the pair is actually good. I, I don't think that event's ever really bad to click on, especially if it's only, like, under four clicks on the Ironclad, let alone. Uh, pretty, pretty all right. So defensively, this is great. Uh, if we fight anything that has more than one person on the screen, I'm going to cry. So 
Uh, that's where it's gonna be bad. Disarm here is pretty all right. It's pretty, pretty all right. Uh, we need to squeeze out damage though against this guy, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. If you give me three strikes, I will just play them all. You only give me a few. I mean, I only have three strikes total, so that actually wasn't too surprising to me. Um, bash. I could wrap you up here in a second and take care of you, but you're gonna die next turn, so let's go ahead and mitigate a little bit more damage. And for the love of God, give me like a strong, heavy hitting card here. I'm begging you. Twin Strike. That'll do it. That will do it. Uh, Pommel Strike is pretty good, especially the upgraded version. Damage is not outstanding, but the card draw could get some sort of a something flowing here. Uh, this this synergizes well with a strength deck, so a flex would go a lot further. But with a Pommel Strike, and we can draw into a very thin deck, I think I want to try something there. I wanted to give it a thin deck a try here. Okay, out the gate. What do I want to do here? I'm just going to mitigate a Christ out of you, and we're just going to work at it. I got 61 gold, dude. If you think you're going to get away with it, you know what? You might have a choice or a choice, a chance here. But I ain't, I ain't coming out swinging too hard. All right, this turn I really don't have a choice. So I'm going to come out swinging just a little harder. I'm just trying to preserve my life force here. And we're going to come out net neutral here, although net neutrality also seems to be on the way out itself. So if you would just find the same path of that, that'd be great. Also, when I say it's on the way out, I have no idea if it is, dude. I'm only hoping for the best. And I've always thought about this. Like, anytime there's a problem in the world, it truly always comes down to, like, you know, it's a drop in the pond. Like, there's a lot of problems in the world. I mentioned it before. Where the fuck were you on the last round, by the way? Where were you? I needed you. You're nothing now. I have no status cards. I only have curses. The drop in the pond, a lot of the world problems here. Anytime, you know, I can see it, it's like, uh, you know, the, the government or anyone's just trying to, like, take away, like, uh, my internet. Oh, it's just the end of the world. It's like, I mean, it's the end of my world, obviously, but, like, it truly is, like, in the grand scope of, like, the problems of the world, it's just another drop. And that's not, like, a slight at anyone in one direction or the other. It's just the truth, you know? It's like... I feel like I'm basically parroting last time. It's like, yeah, the world got problems. We each got our own. And it's another just like, you know, take the tear Boom. Internet problems, there it is. Add to the puddle. And I feel like we, if we're looking in the grand scheme of like problems of the world, think of it as like Lake Michigan and all those other lakes around it. Like we all got our lakes, our puddles of problems, and it comes together to just make an ocean of misery that is like the modern day world today. And this isn't even me getting like deep or philosophical. I'm just sort of thinking the sense of like, yeah, this is how I envision the world problems. And it all coagulates into one giant ocean of problems that, you know, you can't drink that much seawater, let's be honest. Also, you shouldn't be drinking seawater. It's got salt in it, dude. Fish also fuck in there. It's pretty gross. Um, what am I doing? I closed my eyes as I was doing, like, a bunch of hand gestures here. Do I need more money? Yes. Oh. You're right. How about in the game? Eh, it's not that critical right now, so we'll go ahead and pass there. Uh, two of these boys... Got me a little upset. I have a damage card, right? Oh, that's right. It's fucking Pommel Strike. <laughs> ah, Christ. I'm gonna weaken you. Strike. Go after you. So this should just put you at, like, negative plus one. Sorry. Uh, apparently, I don't know how to count anymore. Basic arithmetic is no longer my forte. I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna outright just destroy this guy. You wanna hit me for ten? Hit me for ten. Take another turn to buff up while you're at it. Thank you. You know what they say, as uh, Andrew Ryan said from a wonderful classic uh, book known as Bioshock, a a Andrew Ryan quote: uh, "A man chooses, a slave obeys." That mushroom thing right there—that's my fucking servant. My God, where's the fucking damage, man? I want to do a thin deck, you've given me fucking disarm and the choice between pommel strike and a double strike. I could have swore there was more damage in this game. Where is it? This is not it. Rupture doesn't do it. Feel no pain is not a, it's not a block. Or it's not a damage, it's, a, it's actually a block. Uh, we could grab feel no pain and pivot into a, like a heavy block deck from an exhaust synergy, but I'm trying to think of like a lot of exhaust cards out there. Ain't happening right now. All right. Twisting my arm here, game. I ain't laughing. Not even close. Not even fucking close. 
I'll go ahead and upgrade Pommel Strike. A few more of those would be nice. Uh, and please, I need some damage here so I can get off the first fucking floor. This is getting a little... And by a little, I mean a fucking lot ridiculous, my man. I want to say my dude, because, like, it's just like you... It's used everywhere, it seems. That's all I hear is, like, my dude this, my dude that. I'm, I'm losing my mind. Maybe doing a run at but o'clock at night was not a good choice. I'm, I'm drinking it. I don't, I don't give two fucks. You are not hitting me for 18. You are a fucking slime. A man chooses a slave obeys. Okay. Now that we got that all taken care of. Go on, spit on me. I don't care, dude. You think I fear a little saliva? I do not. I'm going to slowly whittle you down here as I slowly whittle away my insanity here. As I reflect back at the time that it is right now and wonder what it is I'm doing with my life. Also, if I'm going to make it to my get-together tomorrow, I mean, there's no chance I'm going to sleep for, like, what would we be at this point? 16 hours straight and miss it? Absolutely not. Well, if I did, I ain't going to say it's the end of the world for me. I'm just going to say it's not that big of a deal. All right. Iron Wave and Wild Strike. My damage choices are Iron Wave and Wild Strike. Like you, you gotta be, you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> I should have taken Double Strike. It's just, it's just that simple. Um, Wild Strike is bad because the deck's like thinner than someone's fucking like actual micro penis disease, which it is the disease, by the way. Can confirm, and I'm not confirming for myself. Don't think I'm sort of taking that joke inward. I've got the opinion out there. You know, is having a micro penis a disease? Yes, it is. I meant to play the other strike there. That's that that could be like a, a deal breaker for all we know, right? It very well could be. Um, the blocks are worth high value here. I'm gonna go ahead and mitigate pretty much most of that damage. That's pretty good. Thank you to the block potions, all that helped me out with it. We're going to disarm you while we're here. This potion will take care of the rest. Wait a minute. I thought the plated armor potion didn't get debuffed as you go. Like, am I am I wrong in that regard? I could have swore that was how it worked. I thought like that was like yours to keep. Am I actually losing my respective mind here? That that, that was how it worked, right? It's like hey, it's it's like a it's like a metallicize, just you know, in potion form. Has the rule changed? Have the rules of the game changed before I even knew it? So, turns out getting some of those uh, supportive skill cards we did get earlier is actually uh, serving us very well as far as the um, supportive game is going on this fight here. Because we're not taking a lot of damage. Uh, we're not doing a lot here. We're not even past the halfway point, and he's approaching the uh, end half of his outer shell here. I gotta throw in a block. Gotta throw in a block there. We gotta land a bash. We're gonna get burned for two. So one of those attacks will squeeze through. I don't want to lose... The shielding ability, but I do need to keep the vulnerability on if I want to uh, crack this guy. Yeah, that, that's absolutely different. All right, uh, minimal damage here as well. Not great. Uh, not great at all because he's already on his final fucking form here, and I'm I'm none the closer to actually be uh, here to finish him off. So I'm going to pommel. Going to block, block. Uh, realize the futility of this, and like, I, I part of me just wants to like scrap the run right now. Part of me wants to scrap the recording in general, but I would never do that. The only time I ever scrap recordings is if I say some sort of like personal detail that I truly don't want to get out there. That's a very like few and far between situation. Just, just, just fuck yourself, Hexagos. Just, just fuck yourself. I'm not, I'm not gonna quit. You're gonna make me tap out by finishing me off here. So, just go on and do it. I'm, I'm basically waiting. I, I I hate everything that has befallen me or befell me on this run. I had a plan. It was going to be a thin deck. All I needed was like any other form of damage card. Also, this is the most burns I've ever seen against the fucking Hexabud fight. Like I'm not even blocking at this point because like I just just want to see how close I can get. Go on, finish me off. We're like what 24 minutes in. I haven't fucking got off the first floor. Two two oh five in the morning. We're doing one more run. Please stop fucking me, game. I can't tell if it's a mixture of me, like, getting a lucky playing batter because I'm exhausted and I can actually use an excuse this time. But, like, I, I, I feel like I'm getting fucked. Lose all goal and gain 16 max HP. You know what? Yes. Take it away. We don't want to shop early. Do we want an elite fight early? Maybe. 
Big MEA, maybe. That might be the best path for me. I want to hit a fireplace, so I can do that one instead, actually. And we can, uh... There's only one fireplace on this path. If I go here, there's... There's four. I'm going for it. Love of God. Throw me a fucking bone. Maybe, maybe it is a misplay in a lot of ways. Like, maybe I should be upgrading a bash more than I actually do. Totally possible. It is a reality I have considered. I've always considered upgrading bash as kind of just like a trap, though. Because it's so expensive, really. Unless you have extra energy, it's like, you know, you're, you're going to want to block in most cases. So I tend to just not do it. Battle Trance is an outstanding draw. What am I drawing into right now? Pretty much my bash at the moment, but if we can get some other cards on top of it, that might be good. Both attacking, huh? Fine. We'll just uh, scatter the damage here. Playing an attack is actually one of the dumbest things I could do against the armor here. It's going to mitigate a little bit of this. Move on with my merry life here. We're still getting some sustain off the back of that, so that's not bad. Um, do I hear the... I was going to say, do I hear the police at this hour? I mean, I fucking live in Las Vegas, so... Yes. It is totally not out of the ordinary that the police are out at this hour. In fact, you'd, you'd expect it. In fact, in general, it's not even like a slight of my community or anyone's community. I think more crime happen at night. Yeah, that makes sense, Tim. More crime happens at night. Wild Strike. Greymon told me I should not really consider Wild Strike. I still kind of like it, but let me let me get an opinion here. Fire Rogs. Card win rates, ascension, go fuck yourself, and then uh, this is it's not like genuine anger by the way. It's fairly low. I do like Wild Strike just because like the raw damage is intense. Maybe we can get an evolve in this deck and take it from there. That's what I'm thinking. That requires evolve to show up. Like anytime it comes to ascension, you really are hoping our archetype has like pieces of the puzzle that fall in together, right? Otherwise, if I don't take this, who knows? I might get nothing but fucking cleaves on the way to the end of the fight and I'll never get another damage card. It absolutely destroys the possibility of having a thin deck. I see you there. And I'll raise you, uh, I haven't gotten off the first floor tonight. I'm going to take this card and there's going to be no haberdashery about it. A haberdashery also is not the right word to use here. It's just a way to express how I'm fucking feeling, man. Alright. We're going to save this potion for the elite fight, by the way. Uh, I also wish I could have drawn any other damage card here, because if I had to play Wild Strike to fucking finish this guy off, which I pretty much have to do, it's going to make me cry. And so instead, we're going to do it like this, like that. I could draw three more cards. We can get a good re- Wait, give me the give me the wound. All right. We're going to do this, because we shuffle the wound now. So it's like, hey, there's a wound in the deck. There it is. Bam, problem solved. Filter out some more garbage here. I can do... I can, I can get the kill. This works out very well. Evolve is pretty much necessary. Hey, look, it's fucking Cleave. Hilarious. I'm taking Impervious. Good one-off block. A lot of situations might be good. Might even be great right here. Uh, also, Cleave would be great right here. Um. <gasps> hey, Impervious. You want to just throw that shit up there and uh, let's 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 get to work on the big guy here. Big guy. This is a big guy, this is Rusty. It's an old cartoon I remember seeing uh, on television as I came home multiple times throughout the, uh, the day as a, a young lad. Uh, did I ever watch it? No, because it kind of just like annoyed the Christ out of me. The concept of a show called Big Guy and Rusty as alone, it's like already I'm like, yeah, I'm, like, I'm not really enticed. Also, it's like some ginger robot and some guy in a robot and he's lying to this child thinking he's a real robot. And he's like, oh, big guy, he, he's my friend, right? No, no, the government's just lying to you, kid. Go on, look it up, Big Guy and Rusty. They basically leave this kid on a giant facade, this kid robot, so if you're asking if he has feelings, he does not. That's right, if I was a person who destroyed Beyond Human, those robots, those androids, no sympathy for me. Zero. None. I'm kidding. I mean, also, like, you know, is that something like, you know, <laughs> would some, if I were to say, like, you know, robots get no sympathy for me, like, you know, in 2018, like, someone would be like, oh, android hater, you need to give him a chance, something along those lines where it'd be like, yeah. Does that fall in the same veins like, you know, if you're a vegetarian and, like, you hear that news about, like, the all-plant, you know, patty. I'm putting air quotes patty because I've never tried it, but it's basically, they make a burger out of all plant proteins, and then, like, you're one of the person, the people in the comments are like, plants have feelings, too. It's like, wait, really? Is this is this what we're doing today? I, I hear you out, but, like, come on. 
We got time for that? I don't know if we got time for that. Uh, Carnage? That's good damage. Another Wild Strike? There's a part of me just wants to go down full insanity here, but... Um, it will not last, so I'm gonna take Carnage for the damage there. Oh, basically I'm asking though, is like, does that also apply to, like, my case here? Like, you know, when I say it's like, ugh. Robots get no sympathy for me. It's like, well, yeah, because at this point in time, there is no robot that is, like, a sentient being, as far as I know. And, you know, maybe there is something completely ignorant about that statement. If there is, you know what, world, you win. Like, you, you got me. You got me. As I was telling my friends today on our, our little hangout for my friend's birthday, uh, as a driver nearly, like, fucking beamed me because they did not stop at a freaking stop sign in a mall parking lot. Uh, if you are watching this video, by the way, friend, uh, I hate you and I wish nothing but the worst upon you. Thank you for being an asshole and tilting me off the face of the earth today. Right, now that we got that, you don't, don't, don't play those. Uh, carnage, damage, we're just going to kill him. Uh, as I was telling my friends, like, if you give me the freaking destroy the world button right now, I'm sorry, everyone. I love you all dearly. Uh, I'm pressing the button today. It's not even a slide of me having a bad day, it's just like... The, the mood I was in, it's like, give me the button. I will press that button. Give me a do-over. Give me a global, universal, our planet do-over. Push it. Um, so flex is not the right call here. Of course, that is, I honestly say that is a joke. I, like, just don't give me the button, period. It's like, it's like the trolley problem, except there's no trolley problem. It's either you blow, you, you know, you press the button and redo the world, or you don't. I just, I don't want that kind of pressure. I'm already an anxious mess in general, so you don't need to put that pressure on me. Oh yeah, I need to fill out my GDQ application because I have till essentially tomorrow to do it. I'm thinking. I'm thinking and I'll think about it. We'll get it done. I'm also thinking Flame Bearer. Other thing I'm thinking is I don't have enough energy to play it and the game's going to give me like fucking Runic Dome and the boss fight here if I kill it. So I feel like I'm just boned one way or the other. And again, again with the Wild Strikes. What is this? Okay, game's trying to tell me I should probably take the Wild Strikes, right? This is the slowest I've ever played because I'm like considering so many things to get off the first floor. Just get this run off the first floor. 28 damage, 5 more damage on that, that's 8 more damage on that. That's the better choice. If we can just draw this after we play Bash and be a happy lad. Uh, doubt it. Doubt it a great degree. Because I'm sticking to the path where the, uh, the upgrades are. Uh, no. We say no to these drugs here. Molten Egg, that's great. Glad to have it. Uh, next upgrade. We're gonna upgrade Bash. Alright? Three turns of vulnerability is actually really good. If I can just get some energy relics or something to supplement it, it'd be even better, but, you know, one step at a time. No need to rush. It's like learning to fly or falling in love. It's gonna happen, baby. Or, you know, maybe it'll just give me, like, you know, 15 more fucking wild strikes. Who knows? I'm just gonna use this moment to kill you there. That's where wild strike shines, when you can just end it before it actually affects your deck. Headbutt. Upgraded headbutt, mind you. Could headbutt back Carnage. Uh, Impervious if we don't play it. A Flame Barrier. Headbutt, just as an all-around common card for the Ironclad, I think is easily one of, if not the best. Uh, other thing to upgrade here. I'm gonna upgrade a defensive option. The, you know, offensive return on this card is, like, really good. I really like Flame Barrier in general, just because it's, uh... It's energized as well with thorns. If you can get multiple in your deck, you're like all of a sudden like ecstatic that like life is going the right way. Things are getting put together. You've got that nice 401k plan set up with your job and you're going to be able to retire at the age of 62. And then, oh wait, reality comes hitting you faster than it could ever. And uh, you don't have any of that. So thank you for the raw base damage here, allowing me to kill this guy out the gate. Also, it's not a slight of myself as well. It's important to save with retirement. I'll say that. So make sure you do it if you can. If you can't, I feel for you. I put away whatever I can at the moment, and it, it makes me sad every week I look at my paycheck, but that's fine. Sacrifice must be made. Heavy Blade. Ding, ding, ding. No. Anger. For this deck, I don't think I want Anger. It's, it's already too thick. This is something I would have needed on the other deck that I had running with the fucking Hexagos, but, you know, far be it for me to tell you uh, what I wish had happened and what should have happened. I'm going to take Bloodletting. I might even upgrade it, just because, depending on the fight goes. So I can play it on a turn where I get, like, you know, two cards like this, so I can actually get a, a little bit more oomph out of it. You dig? Yeah, you dig. Okay, so we are going to... Bash, Wild Strike, Headbutt. We're going to bring back... We're going to bring back... Wild Strike. In all actuality, I can draw any strike here that'll finish him off. I can Wild Strike someone else, get them down low. We'll work from there. I can also just play this and you will die. 
This is an option. I'm going to do it like this. Because I take no damage, I kill him. I don't want to add another wound to the pile, even though doing 12 damage there would be good as well. It's a very uh, smart and conservative play, I would like to say. Uh, please agree with me, I said I'm smart, and I would like the compliments to uh, further boost my morale today. I'm kidding. So, I'm just going to play this so I can strike you one more time. Like, who am I going to kill quicker here is the question. I still think you go for him in this case. If we get like a, a miracle burst here on the rebound drop, that'd be great. A lot of dazes in the deck, so chances are looking slim. Mass checks out, though. We're good. No no more dazes, son. I have one block card that sell, solves all my problems, and I happen to have drawn it, so I actually get fucked. About goddamn time the game fucks itself instead of fucking me here, you feel me? Headbutt, give me back Carnage, play Battle Trance, play Carnage. Wonderful combo there, I love it, thank you very much. Bag of Prep is nice. Disarm, also nice. I'm going to upgrade Disarm right now. I think this is an important um, defensive option, especially against Hexaghost, who has the very... This is not Hexaghost, Tim. This is Slime Lord. This is, this is not Hexaghost, this is Slime Lord. It's still a good upgrade in general. Not against this guy, because he only does, like, big solid hits, so that measly bit of damage I'm going to be getting out. Uh, not great. But I just want to make sure, you know, your brain understands. This is this is not Hexabud. This this is very well indeed Slime Lord. So we are going to split him here, and that's a good split, if I've ever seen it. 52. One Carnage knocks either of these guys into the next phase. Uh, if you get it, of course. You still go after the guy that's uh, going to weaken your attack, because you know what? If they want to hit you, they can hit you. If you can't do enough damage to kill them, you are ultimately going to be the biggest loser. We will, we'll mitigate a little bit. Uh, don't be afraid to use your potions. You know you have that uh, utility ready to go if you need it, so don't be afraid. Boom, bada bing. One guy just absolutely dusted, iced off the field. You'll never see him again. Very nice. I'm going to take the 18 here. Ideally, he will not attack again for 18, and he's not, so call that a lucky break. I could drop you down to 18 apiece right now. I could also head back up to Carnage, and I can guarantee I'll be able to play it next turn. I'm going to do it like that, because it also drops you down to 18. I can I can just ice one of these guys instantly, and I'm going to ice the guy that's attacking. Very clear. Very clear choice there. Going to debuff you as well. No reason not to do that. And the fight has been solved. Can you believe it? He actually can beat the first floor. It's a Christmas goddamn miracle. You may clap now. Thank you. I can't tell if this is me like going insane or if this is a sign of exhaustion, but I've beaten the first floor and I had to applaud for myself. It's an achievement, damn it. Emulate is wonderful. A burn sort of just adds on to the misery that Wild Strike's already doing, but that's just it's just great AoE, and I don't have to play it. Worst comes to worst, we throw in the fire. Please give me an energy relic. Just, just, just give me something. You know what? You know fucking what? I'm picking up expensive as fuck cards. Sneko's on. I'm rolling it at ice, dude. I'm throwing it all on black on every fight right now. I'm ready to come out swinging. If you give me a double zero green, I'm gonna fucking run up to the casino manager and be like, "This is injustice." You have rigged the system beyond my belief, and they'll be like, oh, and I'll sh I'm going to report you to them. Oh, no, they're taking me to the back. Oh, my legs are broken. Oh, okay, I won't. Oh, okay, and then I'm throwing the trash can outside. And All right, so that'll be the last you'll see of me if I ever go to a casino and do that. It's uh, pretty much how it actually worked piece for piece. Not anymore, though, because I don't think the mobs are in the casino anymore. Think is the key word, and obviously they don't. I mean, they give us money for school taxes here, right? Think, guys. I will not do that. Also, you should never do that. Also, if you're playing roulette and, you know, you get double green, uh, get fucked. I'm sorry. You are very unlucky. You have my sympathy. But also, don't play roulette. <laughs> okay. Now we got that bit out of the way. Where do I want to go here? Are there things I want to upgrade still? Let's just take a look. Let's do some inventory. Things I'd like to upgrade. A second bloodletting? Um, no, not anymore because we have Sneko's Eye. Any two-cost cards we haven't upgraded yet? Impervious, Wild Strike. It's not huge, it's not key. Uh, we still want to hit fireplaces, ideally, for the uh, resting bonus there. Because uh, the, this is the dangerous floor. 
So let's hit up these two fireplaces here. We'll get some cards potentially. Hit a shop. We're just not getting any big relics, but at this point, Sneko's Eye is the relic to carry me. So I'm just going to take the fireplace path and see where it goes. Uh, Battle Trance costing zero. You, you've made me a happy lad today. I, I can't ask for anything more, so we're just going to play an opening hand like this. And far be it for me to let you know. Actually, I'm going to shoot for the moon. Worth a try. Worth a try. That is an outstanding opener against the fucking, uh, you know, little anal beat here that we're fighting. It's a very good opener. Look at this. Look, look at this. I've been bitching enough today. The game's throwing me a bone. It's throwing me a big old bone here. So I can actually uh, prolong myself. No, that's the right word. Uh, find success here. You know what I mean. Um, I these would, these would be great if I didn't have Sneko Eye. Thanks to Molten Egg, they are also upgraded, so they are pretty good. I'm exclusively going to be going for big cards now. I'm a big shot, there's no doubt. Light a fire and then beat it out. I feel like, it's like, is that the riff? That's the, the Family Guy riff on the MC Hammer song, Can't Touch Me? It is. It absolutely is. The longest time my childhood brain thought that was the actual song. Because, you know, you see it on TV and then you're like, oh, there's a song from, like, you know, before my generation that was born? Oh, cool. MC Hammer? Yeah. Cool guy. I hear he did some freaking advertisements for, uh... World of Warcraft, and no, I know he didn't. That's Mr. T. Oh, man, don't you look like a big old racist now. Um, Ritual Dagger, no, just give me the ducats, dude. Cold hard cash. There's a shop down the road, dude. We're gonna buy some fucking sandwiches or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, yeah, so this event actually frustrates me a great deal because of the limited potion options now. I gotta shop early. Brimstone. Um, you see, that's really cool. I don't want that. <laughs> you can keep it. It's still cool. You're still cool. I don't want that. I kind of don't want a lot of things. I'm just going to grab a strawberry. Mob bank and we're stepping away. Okay. Why not the Nitro deck? Hey, why don't you... You know, maybe I should have done it first before I bought Mob bank. Yeah, how you think about that? We're going to save our money up and purchase at this shop here. I'm gonna shoot for the moon here, even if I miss a land among the stars. So just a just a terrible opening hand. Um, the value proposition on blocks are abysmal. I'm going to play this block. I will have no hoo ha about it, and then we're gonna get an amazing turn here that'll make up for it. So disarm is actually outstanding. This is outstanding for the damage and the uh, block value. So we're gonna do that. A nice slow paced game is what we got here. So that's 12 damage back to him. Pretty good if I had to say so myself. You, you bash into Carnage. You bash. The Carnage. You double block for zero. Sneko, keep it up. Keep it up, Sneko. Let's go, Sneko. Clap, 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 clap. Let's go, Sneko. Gonna Battle Trance. You never know what you'll get. It gives me a deck reset as well. Um, it gave me garbage. If you were betting on it's going to give me garbage, you are correct. You win. Congratulations. Your prize is my tears uh, that I've filled into the many Ascension runs I've done so far. Uh, let's go, Carnage. I'm, I'm, I love Carnage. Through and true. True and true. Hommel Strike. It's not a two-coster, but it's upgraded, and it's pretty damn good. So we're going to grab that. Uh, Impervious for 40. Oh, cha. Very good. Why not upgrade the uh, zero cost card draw? Because that zero cost card draw might cost 16 next time. You never know that. I'm sorry. I'm yelling at the imaginary person in the audience here. It's not a slight against you. It's just me venting my frustrations. You did nothing wrong. You did nothing wrong. Carry on, sir. Part of me says I can eviscerate the ever living Christ out of this guy. I'm going to try that. I'm going to attempt it. Because he starts off with like a strength buff. And then he's going to go into healing mode instantly. So, then you go one more of these. You hit him for 10 and pray that the cards you draw are cheap. Oh, no! That's the big fucking ticket item. Ah, oh, shit. That's the big ticket item, man. Okay. Wild Strike. Basic Strike. You need to Flame Barrier here. I, I think I need to push the agenda. Oh, man. It would have been smart to play these first now, wouldn't it? It would have been real smart to play any of these first. We're gonna grab Headbutt, because I can Headbutt back. Um, Wild Strike. No matter how much it costs, it will be enough to kill him. 
and this is going to work out just fine. It's going to work out just fine. It's not going to work out. It's not working. Okay, the bash is good because it sets him up for failure. I just need to hit him now. Please. Emulate. Okay, situation has been handled. You're not going to like it. I mean, I don't like it because the options here are bad. I'm going to reduce his strength because that's basically blocking for three. But if he wants to do any multi-attacks, I basically reduce my damage by a larger sum. And, or you just spam, you know, solid base attacks. That's also fine. I mean, you have that choice. It's your life. I'm not going to tell you how to live it. Um, use your multi-attacks, please. I've reduced your strength for a reason. There you go. It's 21. I take it back. Take your multi-attacks back. I don't want you to use them anymore. Oy. That's good. Bash, damage, give me something cheap. Emulate for zero. We are very fortunate to get out of that the way we did. Another pommel strike. Again, options are up there. We're going towards the shop. I believe that is the right choice. Four cards, 17 damage, 17 damage. Again, that thing could cost, you know, a billion. And I ain't gonna have it. Happy Flower is a nice little supplement to when we do have a bad run of things here. You gain pain. I can immediately toss it away. For the cost of a nice relic, I, I think that's fine, actually. It's a new item as well. Warp Tongs. At the start of your turn, upgrade a random card in your hand for the rest of combat. I'm for this. I'm highly for this. Bash and headbutt. So, this is fine. Against Neko, this is a great opener, because, you know what? I'm already fucking confused as shit, dude. Didn't even need to get the fucking eye to be confused. My life is a mess to begin with. So, this is good. Pain is going to uh, be very painful here, so bear with me as we endure boatloads of damage to eviscerate him. By that, I mean three. Good choice. Fruit juice is the good juice. I'm not going to hear any hoo hockey about that. True Grit. We can use that to thin out and emulate if we get a, a decent draw. So I, I'm kind of fine with that. Uh, it's a big ask to see if that'll happen, but who knows. I'll pick up. Obtain an additional copy of a card in your deck. What would I copy in this deck, right? Now? Who's the boss? It's Suck Lord. Would a second emulate actually be very outrageous to grab here? I, you know, Astro votes in the crowd that I will not be able to see at this point. I think I want that. I know you'll want me. I know I want that. Perfected Strike uh, gets upgraded. We have one, two, three, we have, we have six strikes in the deck. So, it's 24 damage on any cost. It could also be great, and it only goes up from there with Sneko's Eye. I think that is not a bad idea. I'm going to go for this plan here. Emulate is good AoE, and I think it could serve us well. Perfect Strike, same case. If I get more strikes, uh, as long as the Perfect Strike is cheap when I get it, it's good damage. Here's what you do. You go True Grit for zero. Remove the fucking pain. Okay, the pain is gone now. Uh, emulate everyone. I was going to say, it's going to be a painful turn against this guy. Uh, we're going to Fruit Juice. going to move you. Strike him. Strike him. Give me some cheap-ass blocks. I am... I'm very grateful. I'm not going to play this because if I draw Carnage and I can't play it, I'm going to actually cry in real life. So we're just not going to do that. Keep the random upgrades coming, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it. There's Carnage for zero. I'm ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. I'm doing a run like at 2.30 in the morning now. It's going on way longer than it probably has any right to, but I'm, I'm ecstatic. Um, you know what? You know fucking what? Give me that wild strike. Buff up that perfected strike. Regal pillow, highly unnecessary. Capital, highly the unnecessary there. Uh, and I think it's time you upgrade this. Um, if you can get one more card, draw out of it, and it's not like too expensive to play, I think you're a winner. Not the best opener. Two burns out the gate is pretty unfortunate. I would like to draw that on this turn here. Uh, if I had to be frank with you, but it's fine. Demon form does walk around like butterflies. Wow, wow, wow. It's a Pearl Jam song. You might have heard of it. Hey. 
gonna go wild strike. You're gonna go block. And then you're gonna headbutt. Uh, I'm gonna put uh, Emulate back at the top of the deck, because that's good damage to everyone. Enough to finish you off. I mean, that, that's all it seems like it's gonna do. So we're gonna Emulate, Tommel. Should not have uh, done that. Absolutely should not have done that. Keep the upgrades coming, dude. I'm loving that. So you instantly triggered out any pain you were feeling is now gone. Stop giving me emulate on turns where there's no sunny gems on the floor. Kind of hate it. 3 HP to do 10 damage. Yeah. Ice cream would be a good get in this. Hey, happy flower. Trigger, please. I like that new sound effect for the suck. It's pretty good. Get fucked. I will not take this damage and you cannot make me. I will then headbutt Bloodletting back and check it out. Boom! Bloodletting cost two. It's a fucking Christmas miracle. Don't give me carnage. Don't give me carnage. Don't give me carnage. You can't give me carnage. I can't draw it. So that's good. You've upgraded the defend. I understand why. We're just going to play carnage. Does the same thing as emulate. It's just single target. We'll block so we negate the burn a little bit as well. The upcoming turns are going to be pretty nasty. The fact that they were not as bad as I thought they could have been is great. I think we need to go for the throat. Let's go for the throat. Uh, I'm not going to be able to kill these guys quick enough and handle them at the same time. So, you know, pray for the juggler. Stop fucking attacking me, alright? Just stop. You have a choice. You have the chance to be the change in the world want to be and you chose this path so i'll see you in hell we're on the third floor baby let's actually go limit break um i don't think really have a strength type of deck yeah no reaper cost two could give me a substantial amount of healing could uh so we have a chance of getting good value there Bean fire can do a lot of damage with that could be a, a finisher I'm going to take Reaper for a little bit more sustained. Thank you for the love of God. A fucking energy relic. Gets me some more curses. Not happy about that. Uh, we do want to thin out the curses in our deck because uh, that's just an even worse, like, dead draw. So, yeah, thin out curses. The shop here has to find an elite for it. Oh, shit. Elites scare me. I still think I... I Above all else, I don't want... Um, and every question mark could be, like, a disaster as well. And also the fucking transient lurks around every corner here. This game is just so fucking scary now. It's just a scary game. Death lurks and awaits on every twist and turn of this tenebrous corridor. Music, I need you to chill. Alright, I need you to chill, music. That, that that's the safest choice is we have to we have to run the gauntlet like there's no doubt about it any question mark we get that takes away our money is also not good until we get to this I truly just don't want to fight an elite I don't if I find an elite which one do I like to fight the, the two fucking spheres is obviously the best one I could get because if I get big head guy um you know what no I just watched Coco, as I mentioned. This is my chance. I, I see my moment. I have to take it and seize it, no matter the cost. Uh, that does not mean murder someone. Okay. But you know. So out the gate. Emulate. Drop some six beats. Don't hate. A fantastic opener. Uh, I'm taking a little damage, it's fine. I, I put myself on a scary path, because the, the later elites, they, they're deadly. They're, they're, they're insanely deadly. They can finish me off at any moment. Why am I grabbing Wild Strike? It buffs up Perfected Strike. And if I get a good draw on Perfected Strike, I'm happy. I forgot I had Pommel Strikes as well, that's pretty nice. Remove the pain. I'm gonna do a Wild Strike, and then you go a Headbutt. You bring back Wild Strike, and then you Pommel, and you get a Wild Strike for two. And then you go World Star. Okay. Why am I doing like this? Reduce the HP, only taking two. End this quicker, you'll be a happier lad. Hitting for 39 on the effective strike, that's pretty damn good. 
uppercut. It's it's two, it's gonna be upgraded, it's great. Pray to upgrade a card. Well, we've managed to upgrade every other card in the deck somehow. It's thanks to the uh, egg, of course, but that, that's good. This is a good sign. Um, if we get any more events that requires upgrade cards, then it's gonna be a uh, not so good sign, because we're gonna be sad we can't do anything with it, but uh, a good sign nonetheless. I feel like I can handle you at any given moment in time. This guy's going to cause me a lot more heartache in the future. We're gonna go wham, bam, slamma, jamma, pajama, samma. Wonderful game, by the way, but I was more of a Freddy Fish kind of kid growing up. And then we're gonna just eviscerate you and eviscerate your friend. Yep, sir. Don't blink. Don't blink. All right. See your friend? Oh no! And then I eat you. Good. Another pommel strike. It's very nice. Is this is, I thrive in a thick world, dude. I'm a thick kind of guy. I like thick things. I like thick decks. Thick is good. Thick is great. I'm, th I'm very clearly setting up a bit there for you. If you want to make any jabs about, like, thick comments, you know what? I've already heard them. You don't know my life. You don't know me. You don't even have my comment. Alright, looks like a failed attempt at doing that one there. I'm gonna work on finishing you off, but in all honesty, I need to be going for him. Because uh, unless I get like a one hit KO, he is going to become stronger than we can ever imagine. And I will not be able to defeat him. So Impervious, Carnage, Perfected resolves that issue very, very handily. And you know, you give me your dazes, dude. It's me on a frequent basis. I'm millennial. I don't know what to do with my life. I'm dazed as it is. Dash him. Um, hit him with that. Only one damage in the paint. Very well handled fight. Like the deck is just like a giant. Carfunkel of like mess and misery, but this is again where I thrive. Drop kick, probably not gonna be good. I'm gonna say no. Sword boomerang, hell no. Um, hey, you know, you, yeah, you don't have any cards to upgrade. You want to take on that elite? <laughs> no, I do not. I will upgrade a fucking block at this point. Okay, the shop is in sight. Afternoon delight. I would like to thank the Academy for the emulates that have appeared before me today. It is with great delight that I am uh, able to emulate to such an extreme and intense degree. Free of cost and charge. All right. That's a good opener. The pain hurts, but you know what? He's also not that scary to fight in uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 either, so I don't respect him in the slightest. Uh, you're dead, So thank you for showing up. I'm gonna pommel first before I do battle trans. Oh, just kidding, I'm gonna kill you. All right, two block potions in my pocket. That's what I like to see. Hemokinesis is solid damage, but it costs one. It does 18. That's pretty good. I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no. Oh, why don't you pick up Inflame? Eh, why don't you give me a reason to pick up Inflame on this one? We don't have multi attacks. Oh, by the way, like if, if anyone's ever, I don't. I'm, I don't know why I'm apologizing. It's like it's, it's really me just talking like the imaginary voice in my head. It's like take take this card. It's not a slight to anyone that tells me if uh, you think I should take a certain card or not. It really is just me and my inner battles with myself. <laughs> Never towards anyone here. Again, I don't know if I need to preface that with an apology. Uh, I don't attack anyone. That's not my kind of nature. Uh, but a part of me is like, hey, fire breathing. Huh? 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 You're gonna squeeze out a little extra damage there, right? I could, or I could skip it. Um, the Winding Halls, I will not lose max HP, I will... I will just do this. Don't think that's gonna work out the way I think it will. Um, hey, doubt it? What the fuck? Prismatic Shard. Combat reward screens now. <gasps> Ooh, this exists? This is great! Oh my god, I love that. It's a little late for the run. I'm going to grab marbles instead, but just knowing you exist has filled me with great, great satisfaction. I, I would like to grab bludgeon, but I also need to remove the card that will give me great misery. It's my doubt. Um, so we're going to do that. Flame barrier? Yeah. Flame barrier. War cry? Nah. No war cry. Fear potion? It's a little better. We just need to get rid of the debuffs on the final boss, but that's pretty good. Or use it on the... Uh, coming fight here just to get around the um, potential death that awaits me. You motherfucker. You can't, you can't let me have anything, can you? You just gotta show up and ruin everything, huh? Well, you know what? 
I ain't lynched today. Not today. Today is my day. Uppercut. Wild strike. Basic strike. I don't I don't fear you, Transient. I have more power than you can ever imagine. 45 damage, dude. I remember when I did 45 damage. Yeah. Welcome. We gas my fucking apps. Gonna play madness. Gonna play madness. Excellent. I hit the card I wanted it to. Alright. It's good. The reflect damage is not important, it's just about maintaining the situation. Okay, stay calm. We ooh, I do not fear you. I, I've been over this with you mere moments ago. I do not fear you. You have one more turn of life in this world. And I hope you are ready to spend it doing no damage to me. See you in hell, nerd. I'm not phased by your existence. At least not on this run. Regen potion? Could be nice. Body slam? No. Clash? No. Warcry? No. Okay. So this guy is not one of the fights I was hoping to get. And this is also not a very good opening hand. We can make it work, though. So you're going to go Pommel Strike. You got to play Carnage. You got to play Wild Strike. That's good damage. That's, that's actually turned into a very good opener. If I can avoid using my fear potion, I'll be great. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be happy. Okay, um, so I'm going to, uh, I'm going to weaken you, actually. And then we're going to play a block potion. I was going to play a bash. Okay, this is fine. 33 is, um, not fine. kind of just want to block that. I think I need to. We'll do it like this. I will also disarm you. So a little bit more of a debuff on your multi-attack here. Um, bad turn. There's a solid block over there. The headbutt in there. Okay. You play headbutt. Why are you doing it like this? You know why I'm doing it like this. I'm gonna bring back Carnage, and it will get played immediately upon return. He is still vulnerable. Ah, burning me, dude. You go Carnage. You go Battle Trance. Blood Letting will give me just a little bit more oomph. Wild Strike. Okay. 9, 25. That's not enough to get a kill. I don't want to take a bunch of damage, so we're going to Flame Barrier. Two strikes. Still solid damage. Uh. This would be doing great reflect damage if there's a way to get through the invulnerability, but there isn't, so it's just a little bit more. He's doing 40 fucking two. Three block. Good, hit true grit. I wanted to do this a little quicker so I could stop taking damage from the pain. Hit him with that. The flame barrier. Block. That's as good as it's gonna get. That's as good as it's gonna get. And then you wrap him up here, dude. You wrap it up here. And then you also finish him off. <laughs> uh, second disarm is fine and dandy for me. I have one basic combat left. It's the fucking triple jaw worms. Give me my AOE, damn it. Where, honey? Where is my AOE? Where is my AOE? You're dead. You're next. Well, there's my AOE. I'm gonna go after you because you're doing the upgrade. Uh, you are not allowed to upgrade yourself. Only I am allowed to upgrade. I have the fucking warp tongs. It says so. It's in the rule book. You cannot upgrade. You're doing 20 damage. You can stop that. You stop that this instant. Okay. By the way, Snegro's Eye has proven to be the biggest gambit in the world that has paid off. Uh, other things I want to upgrade. Another disarm upgrade would be great. I think getting to maximum HP for this fight and eating this donut alive is of key importance. So we're disarming him. Disarming him would be great. Three blocks. It's fine. I'm just gonna do it like that so I can get the uh, the debuff blocking me. Um, and 20 damage to everyone would be nice. I'm going to do it like this, though. Okay. Nobody, nobody at me right now, okay? I've missed out on, like, a tremendous amount of damage. It's 
I, 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 I'm truly upset. You don't have to be upset at me. I'm already upset for you if you were upset. But that's out of the way. Headbutt? Give me back a emulate. Make it cheap. You did not make it cheap. Uh, you know what? That's my own damn fault. 30 damage. Not great. It's another 30 damage. Flame Barrier helps out a great deal. Two Flame Barriers helps out a great deal. You need to play Carnage. Don't want to lose it. Use or lose it situation. Um, I'm going to do a very safe play by doing that. Okay. That's a decent amount of block. And Donut's nearly dead. He would be a lot closer if I played that potion in one turn smarter. Um, you got to upper what? Upper cut. Pommel. Looking for some damage or blocks. Reaper. Very solid healing. This will block a lot of damage. I can't finish him off because that's 18 damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. Block. Upgrade a strike. Okay, I'm taking 22 instead now. That's that's better than the situation was a mere moment ago. Stop this. You stop this right now. This is my chance to win, damn it. He's going to get one more strength up unless I finish him off here. I could potentially finish him off there, but the damage is not looking promising. I'm going to Flame Barrier. I'm going to Battle Trance. Not good. Not good. Not good at all. He's going to kill me unless I finish him here. Carnage to Headbutt. I'm very scared. I am going to be grabbing a Flame Barrier here. I'm going to uppercut him, which will make him vulnerable. Not not the way I want, though. It's oh, a lot of damage. I have six HP. Please. Give this to me. Give this to me. Big damage. That's a bash. That I need to bash. I need to get the vulnerability. Oh my god. Don't make a man cry this late at night. You wouldn't. You wouldn't dare. have options here. Immediately looking at it. I'm very carefully doing this. 15 damage. That's 18 damage. We get 2, we get 20 damage in, he get dropped to 52. We would do headbutt first, obviously, because we want to bring back Perfected Strike. The thing is, it needs to cost 0. We see that conundrum here. This will do 42 damage. So in actuality, this does, um, does 29 damage. And then we can Palmo Strike and hope for something good. See, the thing is, if I Palmo Strike and I don't Headbutt, we are hoping for a Miracle Draw on anything else that helps me. Uh, this would be great. A conjunction of these two would be great. A change to this would be great. Carnage would be great. The thing is... I don't know if there's any of this is enough to finish it off. So I think the correct play here is you headbutt, perfect a strike, and fucking roll the dice that this just cost zero. I'm begging you, please give this don't mean this one time. All you have to do cost zero. All you have to do. All you have to do, man. It has been a very long recording. I intended to just do a quick run. It is now pretty close to 3 a.m. Going to get this uploaded for you guys here. I don't think this will constitute entirely the Saturday video. Yet to decide. Might do another one later. I don't like oversaturating, as you know. I'm going to cry myself to sleep now, all right? Thank you for watching, though. Uh, if you watch the entire way, you're a braver person than I am. 
get yourself a snack before you get to sleep, and I'll see you on the next one.